the reason that that, that, that my that my house my, my board is not desirable is because of the LRA property. My board would be ten times better than it is right now, just getting rid of the LRA property. I'm not talking about lots where LRA has one or more contiguous pieces of property. I'm talking about independently standing lots between two very well kept buildings. If they have a plot of land where development can take place, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about single side lots. We have four or five blocks between West Park and Highway, very stabilized with one house on it. And those are LRA houses that are in, in total uh, disarray and disgrace. If they sell 5,000 houses a year in North St. Louis, and let's say the uh, the average price of, I think it was, it was like 65000 and without those LRA, LRA lots, let's say the price would be 80000 or 90000 So why is the assessed valuation so much different? And I'm saying that LRA has a great impact on the desire of people to live in those things. They know what is repairable and what is not. And the ones that are detriment to the community, they should have an obligation to remove the hazard for the women and the children in, in and out of those lots. All I'm asking is they maintain them, that they keep them clean, they remove the, the dumping or the trash, and make them aesthetically acceptable. One thing I hope that this bill does is change the mental model of how the city bureaucracy look at North St. Louis and look at the services that we need and develop the desire to service our community as they service South St. Louis and 